All right, out there. This video is for my friend Spotty, aka the Clarence Sale, aka Peter Parker. This is for him to see that uh, I've got a dual boot system. Uh, you can see here it's a uh, Ubuntu that I'm running. There, I'll go up to the about about Ubuntu. Now this is Ubuntu 9.10, and I know 10.04 is out. And uh, you can obviously do the same thing with 10.04 uh, that I've done here. But you can see there, it's Karmic Cola. And uh, you can also see like the name that my PC has actually got. Pain. Same thing over here in my terminal. And the reason why I'm showing you this is that there's a tutorial that I read out there that says that you can dual boot Fedora Core 13 and Ubuntu 10.04, but you have to share the home and the swap. Well, I'm here to say that that's not the case. You don't have to do that. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to log out here real quick, restart this bad boy, and we're going to go into the go into Grub. We're well, not going to Grub, but you'll see Grub. Hey, look, it's me. Hi, Mom. You suck. <laughs> Tired of seeing me. But it's going to come up here in just a second. Oh, there's Grub. Okay, in the Grub menu, you can see right there. I've actually got Ubuntu up top, Ubuntu, for those of you that think I'm pronouncing it wrong, and then there's Fedora, and that's of course you can see the latest kernel 2.6.33.3-85 Fedora Core 13, and of course my box is a 32-bit uh, 32 architecture. Anyway, we're going to hop down there and load that bad boy up. And what's nice about this, the way that I've actually got this set up, is that you can actually have them as two completely individual uh, ind individual partitions, and you don't have to share your home, which means that you don't have to share your 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 settings, your your computer name, your login ID, all that stuff. They can be completely different, completely separate, and that's exactly the way I've got this box set up. So it's actually something that's quite nice. I just had a friend of mine, the clearance cell, fail miserably at this. So there it is right there, you can see. This is not pain, this is shit hot. Not only is it not the uh, same username, but it's a different password as well to obviously go along with that. Now I had to manually make my partitions for Fedora. Of course that's the key to making all this work is that the Fedora is from uh, uh, install. It tries to install itself uh, from the install disk or, or CD, whichever one you have, live CD or install DVD. It, it's going to try to use LVM, so Logic Volume Manager, and that's actually going to be the problem. That actually creates a whole issue why you have probably loaded Ubuntu and then you load Fedora and next you know it, you've got no Ubuntu anymore. Uh, you'll see the partition, but you can't load it and you don't see it in your boot menu the way you saw it when I boot it this time. And that's just the way you get around all that. You have to manually make your own partitions. But anyway, you see Fedora Core 13 loaded up real nice. Everything functioning. Um, go to places, take a look at my home folder, and you'll see Fedora Core. Functioning just fine. Open up a terminal. And yeah, just see all that right there. So that's it. Clarence can eat it. And he figures it out. Make a video of your own. Make an ass out of me.
Later.